Pretty cool, huh? So tonight I'm fly fishing for striped bass in Brooklyn, New York. Um, with the Ocean City 90 automatic fly fishing reel. So tonight I'm fly fishing with the Ocean City 90 automatic fly fishing reel. It's a really great reel. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's an automatic reel. I really got into these things, so I got one set up for salt water. This is a dual. It's actually manual and automatic, so you can go crank or retrieve. But two things that make this really a the Ocean City 90 automatic fly fishing reel um, really shine is if I want to move to the other side of the pier, I just hit that lever and I'm on my way. Uh, another reason, another neat thing about it is if I'm playing a fish, if I get lucky and I got a lot of line out and bringing that fish in, that'll bring the line right back into the reel so I don't trip over it like I usually do. So those are two features about automatic reels I really enjoy. Also, uh, this here Ocean City Automatic 90, it's a dual reel. You can actually re retrieve manually. Um, actually, you want to use it in manual mode, you just turn that knob and it turns that spring drag off. Um, but you just load the reel with the spring. That's how I'm fishing tonight. It's really convenient. And it's, it's got a really wide spring, uh, much more robust than a freshwater automatic fly fishing reel. The spring is about as wide as the reel inside, and it's got a real lot of torque to it. That's how you get the big ones. He's about 28, I think. Let's get him going. I have to wait about 10 minutes for the next one if we get one. So tonight we're doing some pier fly fishing for striped bass. The Canarsie Pier uh, with the Ocean City Automatic 90 fly fishing reel. Just wanted to show you my new toy. Um, and actually the rod is a Ocean City um, <laughs> fly fishing rod. Uh, pretty neat, pretty neat combo. Really liking it. Uh, this is a fly, I know you guys asked in the other video. It's about six, seven inches long. It's a half-half clouser deceiver. And uh, just white on the bottom, yellow on top. Uh, some chicken feathers in the back, bucktail. I like red, I like to drop a red chin. I like a mylar body. It shines real nice. And this is one of my go-to flies, but I'll do a video about the other flies I use while looking for striped bass. Let me show you. Um, I had, the last video I did, people were asking about what leaders I use. I just make them myself, monofilament. I like the Berkeley big game, but uh, what I do is I nail knot to my main line, 50-pound monofilament. 
and I put a drop of aqua seal over that. That goes seamlessly through all your guides. So it, it really, you're not getting caught up in when you're moving around and whatnot. So that works great. Then I do about six feet arm's length of 50 pound monofilament. Do your favorite connection knot. You can use any knot you want. And I do about five feet of 30 pound uh, monofilament. And to that, I usually will go three to four feet, maybe five, to 15 pound test, but tonight I am using 25 pound test. And to that, I do a loop knot. So at the end of the night, or it gets short, I'll change my shock leader over, and usually I'll fish it towards about this far down. I find this really plays the fly often nice in the current. Um, do you want to use it like this all the time? No. But with the floating line, I find myself using it more often than not. So that's the leader that I like to use with my floating line. I'll get my line out and then it gets to a point where you kind of hit middle ground. And that's where I'm working the fly. It's kind of like in between the rip and that still water. And you can see it'll feed out slowly and drop. You can really hang that fly in there for a while. So I'm doing some pier fishing for striped bass. All right, I was just going to get ready to get out of here. We picked up another fish. He's a nice guy. That's why that thing is great. He's coming under. Holding him up. Out. I don't know if we'll get him up, but... Wow, he's a nice fish. You go to that 30 pound. I'll take a few more casts and I'm gonna get out of here. I'm happy with tonight. Now those bass they'll come up from the bottom and they'll grab it and they'll just swing right down with it. So you get the most solid firm hook sets. And tonight I'm using the Ocean City 90 automatic fly fishing reel over here in Canarsie Pier in Brooklyn, New York. The Ocean City automatic 90 automatic fly fishing reel, I tell you, it's really made well made. It's uh, all saltwater impervious aluminum. Um, it's a large arbor spool. And the cool thing is it doesn't hold too much back in, so a lot of the play is going to be brute force. What I'm looking for anyway. And that large arbor it has a drum. And so that spool sits inside a drum that's pointing out. So if you were to use this on the beach and you had sand on it in it, that sand is not going to get inside um, just because it's not going to work its way in, around, and into the spring mechanism that retrieves the line. It's really well. The, Ocean City Automatic 90 is really well thought out and made. I don't know why they don't make them like this anymore. I'm really enjoying the reel. It's very convenient. Um, actually increases your fishing time because you're not fumbling. You're not 
managing your line as often. And also you have that advantageous aspect that if you have that fish like we had, you can pick up that slack and you don't trip over your line. So I am going to be getting out of here and uh, it was a, a pretty good night. Um, had a couple bass. Um, I think I'm pretty sure one of them was close to being a keeper in that 28 inch range. The other one I thought was a little bigger, but I think he was just fatter and he was playing in the car. But he really was digging well, a really nice play fight and whatnot. Also hope you enjoyed the fishing, the fish. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Ocean City Automatic 90 fly fishing reel as much as I did. But uh, I'm going to be getting out of here. Pretty good night, but uh, thanks for watching.